It's making me seriously consider just returning this. It somehow fails to do its sole job. Here it is. This is the mouse. Okay, so it is the MX Master 3, and I've seen so many reviews all across the internet that just say this is the absolute best mouse that you can possibly get. It was $100, I splurged and got it. It has scroll wheels all over the place. There's a side scroll wheel, so it could go horizontal. It had customizable buttons. And it's about three years old, but it seems like the hype is still there. So let's see if it's actually as good as people say it is. So I'm no mouse expert. I'm just a regular guy who uses pretty typical mice, but it feels nice. Then there's this little Bluetooth adapter. Here is the charger. And that appears to be everything in the box. There's like a fidget spin. It's literally a fidget spinner. It's a new type of scroll wheel that they just added. It scrolls forever. And then there's obviously the ones on the side as well that can help you scroll left and right on a page. So I'm gonna try this out for a couple days and then see what I think about it and then let you know. Like I can't scroll down. And here's this mouse. Literally, New York Times saying it's the best mouse. Okay, so I've had this mouse for a couple of days now, so I just wanted to give a couple little updates. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on with this mouse. Maybe the coolest feature that there is is flow, which literally allows you to go between OS. Normally you'd never be able to go between a MacBook and then a Windows device but you can do that with this mouse. It's trying to do a lot. And I think most of what it's doing is pretty good, but the mouse can't fulfill its sole function, which is to scroll. So there's two main methods of scrolling, which is the line by line, which is ratcheted. It's pretty typical. It just kind of like up, 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 up the page. But then there's also this other one, which is supposed to be the brand new type that you don't get in any other mouse, which is, the infinite scroll that's very smooth, and it's like a fidget spinner, essentially. If you if you roll it, it'll just go forever. But the problem is it doesn't work. It stops you from scrolling. It happens way too much where it's pulling up, and it's like there's an, a force acting against the mouse that's stopping me from actually scrolling down or, or up. So I, I just can't use the free-flowing mode at all. Like, look at this. <laughs> this is terrible. Maybe I have a defective product, but something tells me that maybe I don't. It's making me seriously consider just returning this. I don't know if it's worth $100 for that. So I'll keep using it for a few more days to see if I learn anything new, maybe can fix any problems, and then we'll see if it's actually something that you should buy. It's probably not. I don't know, it just... Okay, so I've almost eaten all of these jelly beans, so we need to finish this up. So at this point, I've lived with this mouse for about a week, and I've learned a lot. So first of all, there's a lot of things that I really, really like. So it's super customizable. In Premiere Pro, the middle button cuts clips, and on different apps, the side wheel does different things. So on Google Chrome, it'll adjust the volume, while in Premiere, it'll slide left to right. And then I have these buttons speeding up or slowing down videos. They also go back and forth in Google Chrome. Another thing that I like is just the fact that there is a side scroll wheel. I've never had something like that. I like that it charges via USB-C. One thing that I was worried about at first was the ergonomics of it. Compared to my old mouse, it's far more protruding, but I found this mouse is actually quite nice in the hand. One thing that's really cool is flow. The only problem is I don't have a keyboard that can link into the flow. So then I end up using my laptop keyboard and then a Windows keyboard for my other computer. So if I had both to go into the same ecosystem, that would be really great. And then there's gestures. I don't really use them, but you can do different things by sliding around the mouse while holding this side button. If you push it down, you can get 
different apps to show up or if you slide down you can hide an app show the window screen by pushing up you can customize it however you want and finally it's bluetooth it allows you to clean up your desk which has been great now for the problems dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. so when you are in that infinite scroll wheel mode it does tend to back up the page and go against what you want to do which is just terribly annoying i haven't found a fix for that other than just switching to the other scroll mode. I don't know if that's a software issue or what, but that's a huge downfall that I think Logitech needs to figure out. Then another problem is it lags. It's just jumping all around the screen and it's annoying, but usually that doesn't last too long. Then there are a few little minor details. Scroll wheel, when it's even ratcheted, sometimes is a little bit uneven in scrolling. But at the end of the day, I think that it's actually quite a good mouse. I tried using my other mouse for a little bit and what I found is that I'm missing a lot of features without the side scroll wheel and the customization and then this fast scroll wheel to just get from the bottom to the top of a page really quickly. So I wasn't expecting this. It's re I've really had a change of heart throughout the time, but I think I've gotten used to it. And those changes have allowed me to slightly alter my workflow to make it just a little bit faster. And I don't want to make it slower again. So at the end of the day, should you buy the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse? Can you pay the price? <laughs> Maybe. I think if you want to get rid of inefficiencies in your workflow and get just a little bit faster and just making browsing and doing your work a little bit more fun, then I think you should probably look into getting this mouse. But if you are a more simple person who doesn't necessarily need all these features and won't use them, then I wouldn't get this mouse. It's not worth it. Is it worth $100? I don't know. I think maybe not, maybe a little bit less. I'd say maybe 70. 70 or 80 might be a good price. But if you were trying to get a mouse that can fully optimize your workflow, then I think this is the mouse for you. And I'm gonna keep it. So if you're interested, I have an affiliate link in the description. I'm gonna get back to you.